<laughs> and like yeah. you know people think that robots or ai is going to take over the world uh, i don't know yeah maybe yeah. you can comment on like the singularity and like since you have worked in the neuroscience field like what are your thoughts on that I, you know, I just feel like I always have more to read about this subject. Like, I don't, I don't have any strong opinions on it, but I do think, um, I was listening to a podcast, another podcast, um, by the Deep Mind, uh, group They're I think they're based out of London maybe, but they have a whole podcast on AI and they were talking about the ability of AI to be really, you know, it's really successful in, um, situations where things are like a game. So they're really good at like Go, for example, and you can train an AI to solve this incredibly complicated game. But if you think about it, there's like rules and there are things that they can be trained on. Um, and then, you know, they were bringing up how do you train an AI to know that when you're going home from work, tomorrow morning, you're going to want some orange juice. And so maybe I should stop by the grocery store on my way home from work to get some orange juice for tomorrow morning. Like that kind of a thing where it's not like a game with rules is incredibly difficult to train um, AI, you know, agents on. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of right now where where the field is really digging, um, digging into because they're really trying to understand how you can how you can train an AI to do those types of complicated things rather than just games with, with a set rule, for example. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, so yeah interesting. it's all interesting. I know they, a uh, paper came out, I think it was last year on, um, you know, training AI to play poker mm -hmm. and they actually got like a bunch of the top poker players, um, in the world to play with it. And, um, I don't think it, it didn't like beat them, you know, yeah. like it did. Okay. I don't remember the exact stats, but it was when I read the paper, I felt like they were like overreaching a little bit with their claims of like how good it was, you know? Right. Um, and you know, I think that's an interesting example of like a game with rules, but then there's this like human component right of like reading right. other people in the game and uh reading how they make decisions and um I don't know it's a yeah a really fascinating area of AI I think um I totally agree yeah and the whole creativity aspect of it especially with Go um, I don't know if you've seen the documentary about about that um that matchup but you, you should see it if you if you have it but there was, um, I think, the final match in Go, the the AI, or maybe it was the, it was the penultimate match, but um, the the AI had, a, they called it a creative move, like they were like blown away because this move was like they had never seen it in a game of Go before, so it hadn't really been trained on, you know, this one certain move to make, but it was really? like, cre it showed like creativity. It was what they were talking about, and they were just wow. like all blown away and it, I think it won that match um and then it, of course it won you know the whole series but yeah it was an interesting point I think in the documentary where you're like wow you know creativity is a whole nother thing like what is creativity and yeah. how is it you know can you say an AI is creative yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know much about it but it's an interesting question what a, what a like watershed moment for AI I remember that like the paper and it just, you know, making a big splash in the news. And I imagine yeah. the people who worked on it, that being like, you know, one of those breakthroughs, like you're just so excited to like see this thing that you built working. Right, um, right.